In the same classroom to fill me in? Together as a club, we might even be able to shop that shameful practice of delivering ice on the Sabbath. Reflections on the Lord's Club. When I joined, when I was invited to join, um, we had just built our house in 1955, and it was just really kind of unusual that we finally had a house that was big enough and nice enough to have the Woman's Club. And the silver service that we had on the table today was bought for my Christmas present that Christmas so I could have it for the Woman's Club. <laughs> anyway, my earliest memories of the club were after the uh, hats and gloves era. But from the beginning, the ladies were all expected to wear hats and gloves to the Woman's Club. But one lady named Betty Todd came one day without hat and without gloves. And the shock was so profound, it took eight or 10 years for that to filter down <laughs> until everybody had the nerve to quit wearing hats. And that was good for me because I'd always sung in the church choir and I never owned a hat and I would really have been in trouble. We, um, I could go on and on and on about unusual, I know one program I remember very much on, it was Valentine, and they announced we were going to have, a, our program was going to be How I Met My Husband, and I thought, oh gosh, this is going to be terrible, you know, great. you couldn't believe some of the stories that were told. The most staid, unusual little ladies sat down by their husband on a Greyhound bus and married him the next week. <laughs> I wanted to mention also that the uh, president of this club, when it first started, was Blanche Lavelle in, in that picture. It was called the FAD to, um, and th some people think it might have meant the Fine Arts Department, reflecting uh, terminology which was popular to the women's clubs in the 1880s.